Welcome back to the channel guys. So continuing with the Everything Expo series, in today's video, I'll be covering push notifications. I'll be showing you the easiest way of sending push notifications from your React Native mobile application. So to be able to send notifications to a particular user, we firstly need to store that user in our database. For simplicity, I'm gonna be using my Expo Google login repository in which we already have the Google sign-in set up. I'll link a tutorial video for the Expo Google login and its repository in the description. So here in front of me, I've opened up my Expo Google login repository in Visual Studio Code, and I'm running it in my iPhone 10 simulator. Just for a quick walkthrough, we have three screens here inside a create switch navigator. The first screen is the loading screen, which detects if the user is logged in or not. If the user is not logged in, then we're taken to this login screen where we can click sign in with Google to log in. Here you can sign in with your Google account once the user is signed in, we're taken to our dashboard screen. So in the dashboard screen is where we'll ask the user for permissions for push notifications. We'll store the user's push notification token in our database, and then we'll try and send a notification to that particular user. We can also confirm that the user is logged into Firebase by going into the Firebase database. We have the user's email ID, and we go into the database. We also store the user's details here. Along with these details is where we'll add the push notification token. So since push notifications will not work on the simulator, I realized it would make sense for me to run it on an actual device. So here I'm mirroring my iPhone 10 on my screen. Once the user logs in, he'll be taken to the dashboard screen. So let's head to the dashboard screen. And this is where we'll set up our push notifications. If we have a look at the documentation, it gives us an example here, which we can use as a starting point. So I'm just gonna copy this async function. Head back to our dashboard screen. And here we'll just paste it in. I'll just change this to a fat arrow function. So get rid of the async function there and pass the async here and pass in the fat arrow. Now we need to just import in permissions and notifications for this to work. So here on top, let's import permissions and notifications from Expo. And we'll call this method in our component did mount. So here let's set up the component did mount. And we'll make sure we make this async as well. And here we'll say await this dot register for push notifications and save that out. Now I'll walk you through the code. So the first thing we do is we get the status of the notification permissions and see if the user had already granted it or not. If the existing status is not granted, then we'll ask for the permission from the user. We'll store that permission in our final status. And if the user had denied the permission, then we'll just exit out of this method. If the user allows push notifications, then we'll call the Expo server using token async and store that into a variable called token. We'll then save the token in our Firebase database. In this demo, it uses this code, which we can get rid of, and we'll replace this with our own code. So once we have the token, we need to store the token in the user's database. For that, let's first get access to the currently logged in user. So here in our component did mount, we'll say this dot current user is equal to await firebase dot auth dot current user. Just make sure you've got firebase imported here on the top from firebase. It should already be a part of the Google login repository. Coming down here, after we get the token, we'll say firebase dot database dot ref. And the reference we're gonna go for is the node which stores our users. So we'll say users node. Inside that we'll say this dot current user dot UID. And under that, we'll create a node called push token under which we'll store the push token. So we'll say dot set and pass in the token. Let's wrap this into a try and catch block. And if we catch any error for now, we'll just lock that out. So let's save that and I'll just show you our database structure, which will make it clearer to you. Here we have our users node, which we're going into. And then we go for this current user UID. And under that we create a push token node where we save the receive token. Now let's test this out. So here on my device, I'll click sign in with Google and we get the dialog to sign in, click continue. And we're taken to the login screen. I'll just log in with my ID. 
And once the login is successful, we're taken to the dashboard screen. Let's confirm the login from our Firebase database. Here you can see that our push token has been updated. Expo gives us a simple tool to test out if the push notifications are working. So I'm just going to put the app in the background. And here I'm going to copy this push token and head over to that tool. In our documentation, you'll find that Expo push notification tool. I'll put a link to this in the description. Here, let's paste in our token. Make sure to get rid of these quotes. In the message title, just say demo. And here we'll say demo notification. And let's test this out. And there we see we get our notification on our device. So though we can send push notifications from the Expo tool, it would be much cooler if we can send the notification from inside the app. So what I'm going to do is just keep my actual device out of the picture for now and just sign in with another account. So now we can confirm that I have two different users logged into the app. In our database, here's my other email address. So now from this particular user, I'll try and send a push notification to my actual device. For that, let's just create another button here. So I'll just say send push notification. And on press, it'll call the send push notification method. Let's go ahead and create this method. So there we've got our button set up. If you have a look at the documentation, it gives us a couple of SDKs to be able to send the push notification from our server. But for simplicity, we can just use the front end to send it. Here, if we come down, we have access to the API and we can directly send the request. So coming here inside our send push notification, I'm going to say let response and I'm going to use fetch. We'll copy the API address. The method we want to pass in is a post method. And we'll also pass in headers here. So the data type we want to accept back is dot JSON and the content type that we're sending is also JSON data. Next, we just need to pass in our body in which we need to pass in the recipient with a two. Here we'll pass in the push token of the user. The sound will leave as default. The title would again be demo and the body of the message would be demo notification. Here I'll just paste in the token and we need to make sure that we convert this JavaScript object into JSON data before we send it over. So for that, we'll say json.stringify and just wrap this object in that. Let's save that out. Let's move the simulator here and bring my device back into the view. Now, if we click send push notification, there you notice we get the notification on our device. So that completes our tutorial on push notifications with Expo. I hope you guys like this and try this out. Thank you for watching.